Michelle Jonathan or MJ or hashtag MJ in the kitchen or <laughs> I'm out of names. <laughs> um, but we're making a soy garlic fried rib with a jasmine rice and then also a nice crunchy Thai salad with um, a creamy peanut dressing. So we are mixing right now um, green cabbage, red cabbage, um, baby kale. So we just finished frying our pork ribs um, and now we are going to uh, coat them in a lovely Thai chili sauce, a little bit of honey, a little bit of ginger, um, sesame oil of course, um, and a little bit of soy sauce. Peanut butter sauce, whoever did that between y'all two. Y'all did y'all thing. I never did it, but... We're joined by my homeboy, Geechee. Hey, guys. Sorry. Full mouth. <laughs> I wanted to invite the two of you because you have very diverse perspectives with respect to dating. And I'm going to just get right into it. How did we get here? The dating epidemic, how did we get here? Like, what is the issue today? I mean, so, I'm all ears. You want me to jump out there first? Do it. So, okay, it. so... First and foremost, my name is Gichi Luciano. I'm uh, the one third of Part of My Bullshit Podcast. And my number one thing that I've been noticing with single people, I think sometimes like folks rush into relationships. And I may be wrong about this, but this is just from my experience, just from my sample size. I feel like people aren't taking time to actually get to know each other. Right? Mm -hmm. You know, I always tell people, you know, before you jump in a relationship with somebody, you should actually be friends with them. Like, I want to know the insides of like your personality and like what Very makes true. you tick and like, you know, it, it, it not just surface level like, oh, what's your favorite color? But, like Thank people you. rush into relationships and yeah. it, it never works. Like y'all actually have to be friends. Like you have to build a solid foundation before we jump out there and say we in a relationship. But I just noticed that often, you know what I mean? So that's just my take. We have um, women that are doing their thing mm -hmm. these days, mm -hmm. women that are owning businesses, mm -hmm. women that are getting their bag, getting their coin. Um, women that are going up the corporate ladder and they're realizing, wow, I need a match. Mm -hmm. And so, especially in the D DC area, I think this is really um, uh, part of the epidemic, I think, in the DC area. And so um, the old narrative kind of gets jumbled up mm -hmm. because now mm -hmm. we have uh, the same playing field, almost. We have the same playing field where women are doing what they need to do. Um, and then on top of that, I'll bring in a fourth thing. I think social media mm -hmm. is also one of those things that brings in another layer um, of, of complexity. Complexity, that's a very good word. Um, I think that social media, um, for the most part, it's a good thing, but we do have uh, a lot of issues that come with online dating, with uh, Facebook, Instagram, you know, people are stalking people, people are going back to your friends. I think there's a real need for um, authenticity. Question for y'all. I'm assuming both y'all single. Yes. How often do guys approach you in real life versus like through like, you know, dating apps or Instagram or whatever the case might be? I would say it's certainly easier online, like hands down. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But for me, I am not traditional in many ways, but dating is one way that I will not like bend. I am conventional to the T. Like, I want a guy to approach me. And also, I want to meet someone organically. I, I want it to not be forced. I don't want it to be behind a screen. But, I mean, in today's day and age, it's like I have limited options. So I have to either beat them or join them. But even going out, I don't find that a lot of guys will come to me. Now, we're in the, we're in the shoot your shot era. So guys are also waiting for us <laughs> to initiate yes, a conversation yeah, no, and true. again i'm super <laughs> conventional like i'm not yes. going to come up to you like you need to come up to me the 2019 to man leave. wants to be approached exactly oh, unfortunately oh, unfortunately the 2019 man wants to be approached and they're lazy and daters that's the thing guys nowadays want to be approached and when you do approach them they're oh i've lazy never approached daters. a man so i don't know really no, no I, what, I, stops you, what stops you from approaching a guy my Pride and my femininity. I have. I've shot my shot. Shot my shot. Yeah. Shoot my shot. Shoot it my shot. <laughs> shoot it. <laughs> Most times, it's they're they're not as interested as if as they would be had they approached me first. Yeah, I agree with Danielle. I'm very traditional um, when it comes to dating. When it comes to male female relationships, 
Um, I think that it's easy for a woman now to think that they can shoot their shot. And I think that's fine. I've, I've, I, I have friends who the woman was the one who initiated and they end up getting married. So, you know, I'm not saying it never works. I'm just saying for me and for my comfort level, um, I would respond well to a man who would approach me and, and, and approach me in a way that is respectful, uh, approach me in a way that is, um, you know, not so much about, you know, looks or body type or things like that. As a guy, right? right. You know, society has taught us to always be the aggressors, always the hunters. The right. hunters, go get what we want. So we're used to getting rejected. Right. Right. Like, if we shoot a hundred shots, you might miss seventy of them, but right. you might make thirty. You know what I mean? Coming up as women, you, more than likely you haven't lived that experience. Mm -hmm. So now, yeah, as an that's adult, true. that's true. Is that is it the fear of the rejection, or is it just like, I'm not stepping outside of these gender for men or for women? For, for women, yeah. Like for you guys, like is it? You know, I don't want to shoot my shot and this guy just completely ignores me. Or is it, I just want to shoot my shot because I'm, I'm a woman. I don't have to do that. Right. What is it? At this point now, I feel like me doing that is just making yeah. making their job that much easier. Yeah. Oh, and they okay. and you guys already have it easy. Right. So it's like, I'm not right. going to enable any right. further. Because it's also the land of, like, the DMs and the, you know what I mean, like, women will, these days, women will DM you, they will shoot their shot, they'll, they'll come up to you in person, and so I feel like that takes away a little bit that, like, chase mm -hmm. that men mm -hmm. like, and I think that when women make it too easy, um, it just breeds a group of lazy men, oh. and not only lazy, and I'm, I'm say it, entitled, this, this might get, safe, safe this, this, this right. might get me some I'm, smoke, I'm here for a reason. this might get me some smoke, but I will say, not only lazy, but entitled. It sounds like, as a guy, this yeah. is like the perfect era, right? Because there's so many women, especially black women, that are accomplishing so much. Right. And it's clear, y'all don't need us. Like, physically, there may be some limitations, right. you know, just naturally, right? right. But overall, y'all make your own money, y'all have your own businesses, y'all have all the degrees. Y'all don't necessarily need a man to survive. Not even necessarily, y'all don't need a man to survive. So to me, as a guy, I'm looking at all these black women, I'm like, yo, they doing their thing. That's appealing to me. That's sexy to me. You know what I mean? Like nothing is sexy than a woman that's completely ambitious. Not that many men feel that way. So when I talk to single I'm women, I hear that. And I'm like, yo, where are these guys at? Because when it comes to like gender roles and right. all that stuff, like I didn't come up in a house where like the men did this, the women did this. Like we all did it. And I learned how Same. I had to learn how to do everything. So when Same. I hear women say, well, yeah, these guys want all these independent women and they still want women that like be their slaves, it's like, yo, where are these guys at? Yeah. Point them out to me, like, because I don't want to have conversations with them. You know what's interesting? I think that a lot of guys come up being taught that being the man, being the provider means it has to be from, like, a monetary standpoint. Mm -hmm. And that's completely not true. I was listening, I was watching a, a video the other day when a guy was talking about how um, his wife doesn't pay all the bills and he's super proud of that fact. She ain't never pay a bill. I'm like, yo, just because you pay every bill doesn't mean that you're a good husband. Very true. It exactly. doesn't mean that you're a great father exactly. either. You know, buying, you know, back to school clothes for your son does right. not make you a good father. It's the that presence. That makes you a regular father. It makes, it, it, you're doing the, listen, you're, you're checking the bare, box. You're doing minimum. a bare minimum. But it's about relationships. It's about right. the actual relationship. And maybe right. some of that is, is from that. Like, guys coming up thinking like, yo, okay, she has her own home, so therefore I can't provide 50 to that because she owns her own. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, well, you can still come into her life and enhance mm -hmm. that because that's why I have your relationship. Right. We both enhancing each other. Like, you don't need me for anything. I don't necessarily need you for Preach anything. But the things that we bring to the table. You play your strengths. We yes. play to our strengths. Yes. And I think maybe Absolutely. some guys are intimidated by that because they can't bring in all of them into right. something that you have going on. Mm -hmm. right. Now, me, I think that's weird. Whatever makes you happy, do it. People are going to love it or hate it. Either way, people are going to talk about you. So why would any of that stop you from getting to where you want to be? Stop you from finding yourself, just making new discoveries? There's so many spaces and places where um, our presence uh, maybe is not wanted. Uh, but then when you start to travel, you start to realize um, the world is beyond.